Hi folks, how are we all doing? Uh, something completely different for you in uh, this video from what I would normally be doing. Uh, there may well be a podcast uh, back to our more normal um, class of content later on in the evening. But for now, I just felt compelled to record something and uh, put something together by way of uh, outlining my disgust at um, something which occurred this morning and uh, I just, rather than um <clears throat> getting into uh, a long winded uh written piece I just said I would throw something together here because it will keep um <clears throat> traffic to the YouTube channel and that uh going along as well as uh, sometimes uh, these things are slightly easier talked about than written about. Now I know I would have said uh, that exact statement in the other way around in the past and it has often um, worked the other way around in the past but just for today with uh, the way circumstances are lying here it just uh, works out easier to um, talk about the situation than write about it uh, without stating the obvious uh, I'm sure you all know at this stage that I do have a disability uh, cerebral palsy which was basically uh, a stroke before, during or after birth and the upshot of that is for the last 30 years, in other words, from the time I was 10, uh, I have been full time confined to the wheelchair, having uh, been able to walk for um, five years before that with the aid of a walking aid. But um, what <clears throat> prompted me to get behind the camera at the moment is uh, something which happened to me this morning which uh, even in 2021 when you would be inclined to think that such things shouldn't be happening uh, they still very much are uh, the more um, concise version of the event is as follows uh, the hoist which I use to get in and out of bed via a sling which is basically for any of you that never would have come across it it's basically like um, a hammock in that uh, both the top and body top and bottom of my uh, body are uh, strapped into it and one is basically then um, swung across via uh, cross beams in the ceiling um, from the wheelchair to the bed now there are numerous um, different um, types of these hoists and uh, how they're put together I mean there's some that you work manually some that you work by remote control but can be wheeled around uh, um, in other words they're sort of mobile they can be moved from room to room or whatever uh, the one I have in my bedroom is what's known as a ceiling tracker hoist. Basically what it means is that the hoist 
runs along a set of rails um, which are I suppose you could nearly call them like uh, railway tracks that um, you just um, now again there are more advanced versions of same that um, there are some which you have to push across manually but do go up and down uh, via remote control or there are some which will do both the uh, up and down and the across part of the job with the um, remote control. Now the one I have in the bedroom at the moment is a Lyco rail. Now it's there since 2005 but it didn't actually get pressed into active service uh, until two years after that but from 2007 to now that's 14 years it's now in full time use but uh, to cut to the chase of this morning's disaster the um, charger which charges the remote control uh, which drives the hoist um, appears to be banjaxed and uh, now my brother and I is a mechanic and we did get him to have a look at it uh, just to see what he thought so uh, naturally the next step would appear to be uh, to ring the company that supplied it now to spare their embarrassment I'm not going to name them but uh, depending on their response going forward uh, we will just see where we go with it but uh, the bottom line is that when we rang the company uh, that supplied it and explained the situation to them quoted the serial number of the machine they were able to trace back the documentation uh, knew that it wasn't under warranty any longer x y and z uh, and here comes the reason why i'm recording what i'm recording in the heel of the hunt they wanted 220 euro for a call out that's before the service engineer lifts up a tool opens the machine up looks at the inside with anything that's even before uh, if per chance parts had to be bought or uh, time and labour and the whole 220 euro for a call out now excuse me and I know there's inflation and there's a lot of businesses hard set uh, owing to Brexit and getting hard to get parts and the like in but to me that's a bloody disgrace for the simple reason as Susie my partner said to me this morning they're dealing with the uh, most vulnerable people in society and the only explanation uh, one could really arrive at is that they are taking advantage of the vulnerability of their uh, client base in order to make a killing financially. Now, uh, I'm sure I don't need uh, any great um, expansive explanation as to why that is inherently wrong but I would take it from a slightly different angle eh, as in how such a thing and such a situation is allowed to um, prevail and continue uh, 
my own view on it would be and I've known this for many many years when it comes to uh, dealing with services and our supplies um, for anything to do with people with disabilities uh, there are far too few companies who have far too much of a monopoly in uh, the market if that's the word you want to use of supplying goods and services to um, the uh, disability sector and because they have a monopoly um, or what if it's not officially a monopoly it's uh, <sighs> excuse me if it's not uh, officially a monopoly it's damn near as good as one um, the reason then because they have this monopoly or stranglehold on the market or whatever way one wants to uh, describe it um, you know because they're in that position they can charge what the hell they like um, and that's why I think now whether it's something that that uh, government should uh, look into or at the very least the HSE themselves or whether it's just a matter of uh, throwing the net a bit wider with regard to looking for uh, goods and services and uh, you know maybe window shopping a little bit more than what has been the the uh, situation that you know there's bound to be uh, other companies somewhere providing similar services indeed following on from the company that uh, we originally had contacted this morning uh, we then just did a little bit of a google search and had uh, had a look around and uh, in the space of about 15 minutes of a Google search um, we came across another company which would um, naturally enough I have no problem with companies uh, requiring a, a call out charge that's uh, the same whether you get um, mechanics or um, vets and farming or anything like that there will be a call out charge uh, before they go about um, remedying the actual situation but uh, just from a google um, search as I say after the um, after the contact with the initial with the initial company uh, Google search throws in the direction of um, another company whose call out charge was 150 euro now 70 euro is still 70 euro no matter what no matter what way one looks at it and while look I do understand that if companies have vehicles and uh, staff out on the road that naturally enough they have to um, they have to um, you know cover for and allow for uh, wear and tear in vehicles and oh um, you know pay uh, staff for their time and that as well but uh, when you are dealing with 
the possibly the most uh, vulnerable demographic of people in society um, to be even contemplating the um, nature of fallout charges that the first company we spoke to this morning are, are dealing in to me is nothing short of extortion and you know unfortunately in this situation uh, we're probably over a barrel in that uh, we probably will end up having to bite the bullet and and pay the the bigger money but look uh, my reason for recording this video is just by way of putting it out there what people uh, with disabilities have to go through in order to um, secure the services and equipment that they need to uh, engage in their basic daily living um, and uh, you know if one or two people even see this and they go and do a bit of shopping around or if there's another business out there who who know that they could provide similar or identical services to what some of the the bigger noises have at a more reasonable rate if it draws one person's attention to it and makes it a, a difference uh, that will more than uh, fulfill my purpose in recording the video it's just something that really gets under my goat and um, you know I firmly believe and I think anyone that is remotely fair minded would believe that in this day and age it shouldn't be happening and uh, please God by highlighting it it may bring some sort of fairer and just resolution to the situation uh, thank you all for listening folks very unusual sort of subject area for me but it just left me so angry and upset uh, this morning that I felt compelled to um to uh do something about it so thanks for watching and i will be back with more uh of my normal style of content sooner rather than later